Okay, this is how I create maps with Google Maps, um, inspired by Sugar Tough. Um, I've been doing it for years, but I hadn't actually got around to doing it for Miami yet. So I went in and did it because the schedule is very hectic. So I decided that it was best to kind of have it mapped out so I'll know where I'm going. Um, the site, if you have a Google account, you have to have a Gmail or a Google account for this to kind of really work for you. You go to google.com slash mymaps. So that's the link. So when you click on that link and when you're assigned into your Google, I guess, browser, it brings up pretty much all of the the maps kind of that I've done over the years. Um, for instance, what's a fun one? Um, Trinidad. This was my Trinidad map. You know, all the different FETs I went to so that I could map it out and know where I was going. Uh, I've done it. Uh, let's see. I went backpacking last year, so that was for that. So on and on. It's all types of um, maps. Bermuda. So here is Miami Carnival. So I'll click on this map because this is the one that I created. And it's pretty much, you know what I'll do? I'll, I'll create a new map because this is not necessarily going to help you. So create new map. Come over here. And then I type in a location. Let's say I know the address of where I'm going. So I'm going to Miami, Florida. So then I just kind of add this to my map. It's a new map. I'm going to call this map just save it. I'm going to call this map, you know, Miami Carnival. So, and I just added a link to Miami. So when I'm in Miami, I know that I need to go like to the Miami airport. So I add that to my map. Uh, I don't see the airport. Uh, airport. Like that. It says you want to add it to the map. Yes, it's on the map. Uh, something else, I have to go to Fort Lauderdale Airport because me and my friends are staying in different places. Um, here are some places that the FETs are going to be held. So I kind of already have them saved. So I don't remember which one. Maybe that's Viva. That's going to be at the stomping grounds. Don't quite remember. Um, there's another Biscayne Boulevard. I think that might be Candy Coated. I can't quite remember. Either Candy Coated or Roast. So I add that to the map. So that's kind of how you add them. You come over here and you play with the icons like, hey, I want, you know, I want it, you know, this to me looks like something that would tell me that it's, you know, the beach. I don't know. So then that you can change the color of the icon so that when you're looking at the map, it looks like something that you can, you know, kind of get into. If you look here, transportation, airport an airplane that's the airport so I change that to an airport sign maybe I want to make it purple so you just kind of go through all of that so then if you zoom out and look at your map you'll see kind of all the different places like if you're staying here you can reorder them of course like I have my schedule in order you can also have driving directions and everything but if you look over so then let's just go back to my maps and look at my final Miami Carnival. This is the one I... As you can see, everything is mapped out. I've changed the icons. I know the distance between everything, where I'm staying, where I'm going. And then I just do like a screenshot of it and either print it out or put it in my phone. I do a screenshot or screen cap so that I'll be able to see it later and know where I'm going, know the distance all that stuff kind of immediately the proximity of everything is important to me plus the order so I know I'm going you know here first there first then I'm going to the little green jungle island that was kind of the so veil is on jungle island so you can kind of see the veil icon I have like a little green for jungle and drinks even though they're not giving us drinks but anyway so that's pretty much how it goes all right hope this is helpful bye bye